All right, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. We're on episode number 25 for today, and hopefully in this episode, we'll climb into that final 100 MMR before we reach SSL. SSL is 1875 MMR, I believe, so we're only 13 points away from being 100 down. So I think we're probably getting close to the last few videos of this series, but of course, I'll be starting up a Road to SSL in 3v3 right after this. Lots to look forward to, but before we do that, we have to do the meme of the day, which comes from Silent. Now, Nolly's name isn't Noli, but I'll let it slide for Holy Noli. Let's get right into it. All right, I think we know where this is going. We've got Nolly here. I just gotta cut him out real quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I think I'm gonna flip him here. Do I want to like, uh, maybe I want to like blend in his face with just like the rest of the features. That might be the play. Let me see if I can do that. This already looks wrong. I'm trying to match up the eyes here. Let's start with just erasing. Nice and slow. Okay, we've, we've found the forehead. All right, we've got a lot of work to do. <laughs> sort of what I want. Let me reduce that a little bit. I'm going to increase the size of the hair a little bit. Oh, it's looking it's looking much better. <laughs> All right, I think I'm happy with that. There we go. All right, game number one, we got Alex and M. They're teamed up. We got a 1780 player who's just a face with glasses. I might be able to get back to this. There we go. Good save. They pushed up for the, the boost deal, which is totally fine. I'm just going to go force 50-50. We have no boost here because they took the mid. This mid should spawn in a few seconds, though, because kickoff just happened. There it goes. I was watching the timer there. Oh, my teammate was stuck in uh, goal line there. He needs to jump up or something or get in the way because I'm waiting behind him. He's defaulting to net there, but as you can see, there's so much space for him to go for the attack. And I pr probably could have cut in a mid if I knew he wasn't going to, but he should have been ready after the kickoff there. All good, though. Good flip reset from them. I'll try and cheat up here. Get the mid boost here and then immediately try to go for an attack. Big flicks, good save. I grab this back corner boost, try to bump them or something. They do clear it away, but my teammate should have a free ball. I can bump this guy as well. Good play. Great shot to the back left corner there. So I didn't really need to demo that guy, I think, that because he was going to go for that boost steal or something. I mean, he might have disrupted uh, my teammate, but really good catch off the wall there. And Alex didn't quite get a touch that he needed to attack that guy. Because if I demo that guy and he gets back, it would have been my bad that we didn't get a goal because uh, the situation. I'm going to go for an attack here immediately. This guy went for a decent flip reset. He ends up missing. Should have catched this on the right side of the ball and we get a goal. And what I was trying to say was that because I demoed that guy, he would spawn back. But uh, fortunately, he spawned on the wrong side. And also, I don't think he could have gotten back in time either way. Uh, maybe if he spawned on the left side, but we don't know. Oh, big fake play. Oh, so it's like this, is it? Okay. I see how it is. Pulled out all the fake strats. That's why I like to, on kickoffs, I like to put the ball off to the side a little bit. Because people, when they fake like that, um, they tend to do uh, a direct shot backwards. Uh, if you don't if you don't put the ball directly on target like that towards the net, um, it won't be a problem because uh, obviously there's nobody waiting on the corner. So the way that it spills out there. Oh, that was close. Good play from them. What I'm trying to say is that if I if I put put the ball in a direction not towards uh, the net where they're waiting, then they can't really get a direct shot like that. Decent 50 towards the net. He's going to be able to save it though because it's rolling. Like I've said, I've said, about, said that before. When the ball's uh, rolling like that. Um... Oh, I missed. Oh, no. He, went, he didn't go on the immediate shot, so it's all good. Oh, behind my teammate. Hit this towards the ground and then maybe follow it up. Because the guy went for it. Should be open. Good shot. Um, sorry, my mind's all over the place right now. I just woke up. <laughs> so, so my mind is moving at like a, like a mile a minute. So my bad. But great shot there. The reason why I dove at that one ball is because if, if he did go for the immediate shot, which uh, he didn't take, I could have blocked it. But since he faked, faked it, he didn't get the open net, which is all good. Goes to the side here. My teammate has alpha boost, I just realized. Should be it. Okay, that... Should have been him there, but it's all good. A little bit awkward. Hit this off the wall really hard. And go for a shot up, up field. The guy does get the mid boost, but it's not a big deal. That mid boost. I, oh, he didn't get the mid boost. Oh. Okay, once again, a little bit awkward where my teammate doesn't, uh, you know, where he's in a situation where he can cut. He doesn't go for it. I go for a mid here. See if he can go for the shot. Great shot. Nice play. Now, I was in a similar situation where I was back by net there to go for the attack. So, I was trying to figure out, like, if he wanted me to go for that play, 
where I was, I would have expected him to go for that in the situation he was in. So I just, I'm just trying to get a good mentality on like where, where this guy wants me to challenge and stuff. And I, so far, I haven't really caught on, but either way, go for a shot off the corner here. They got a decent touch in the corner, which is fine. Got the mid boost as well. So Alex pops it away. Totally fine. Go for immediate chip really high. And then maybe go for a shot. I didn't get the, 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 the power I wanted on that. The guy did let go of the ball though. Nice. And we're we're um we're decently far into the season right now. Uh but I think that like we're still gonna get players who uh were probably SSL last season at the end of the season. Just gonna pop this immediately into the corner here. It's gonna bounce up a little bit. We do go towards target, but still, it's going to be in a good position for my teammate to uh, challenge. He ends up hitting it off the curve, though, so it's going to spill back to them for a second. Great challenge. I'll stay with this on the wall. Doesn't challenge, which is totally fine. Try to bump this guy. My team's pretty close, though. Nice save. Let this guy go for an immediate touch. Maybe pop to the left now. He goes forward. So they're going to get a clear off to the side. I already know where Alex is sitting, so I know where he's going to clear that. That's totally fine. My teammate off the backboard. Good cut from them. Ooh, I backflipped. Yeah, so I, 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 I got pushed up a little bit too much there because I thought there was going to be a challenge when he landed there. But he did force the guy off the ball, so I should have been ready for that. But I ended up backflipping. It's all good, though. Did pop off the corner. He goes for this corner boost in his net. So I knew he, can, he couldn't get the corner boost, so I get instead. He's very low boost. Pop this over M. Let him pop it as well. Good challenge. Now the fake is all right. Should work out for us. Good start up. Over one M has to make a touch off the backboard. If they follow this, no problem. Okay. Oh, that's all good. I wouldn't have liked it to put, go back into the, the midfield though. Because uh, it goes back to them for a free touch. I would have liked to control that. He's going to touch this off the wall though. I'm going to grab a boost pad or two. Nice clear. Trying to pl uh, play in a good spot. Get to control this. One touch over both of them because they're both waiting in net for that pass. To my teammate to get a free touch here. The way that I'm playing that around them is just to keep possession. M might touch that, which is all good. Stay with this to the left side here. I don't hear anybody near me. I think he's going to try and challenge right here, so I'm going to bump him. I might be in the net. Oh my goodness. So yeah, not a great touch for my teammate. The way that I tried to keep this here, he ended up popping it into mid. <laughs> I was trying to roll up the wall, but he just got in the way. So a little bit awkward. It's all good though. Definitely not the play I would have liked to make. So I was trying to keep that safe up the wall. My teammate should get the mid boost though. I would say it's like an unforced error. This could be a good bump play though. Oh. Got the backboard. Good save from them. Still on the still on the wall here. He says left. Maybe play the game. We're still we're still uh, zero seconds here, my boy. <laughs> All right, let's go. And it's typing mid game. I'm over here fighting for my life, trying to go for a zero second play. Oh, oops. Should be a shot though. Good save. It's all good. Should be all right. Nice touch for my teammate. Give me them though off the backboard. This could be really bad. It could be in my net. Okay, the guy didn't jump though. Go back here. Oh. Not a big fan of that touch because it goes right back to them, but we should be able to get that no problem. Uh oh. Close. What do these guys do here? Oh, my teammate jumped too. Yeah, we do bump him though. I'm trying to pop this up so my teammate can follow, but he might not be able to get there. Nice touch. Did you get a good save though? Decent. What they do with that? No problem. Not a great first touch. It's going to be them to attack that. Ends up beating them, but I'm going to be low or by myself for a while here. I'm going to let my teammate go for this. Even though I know he's going to get beat. For sure. 
Good challenge. That guy went for me again, so I'm just gonna back off. Good try on the bump. Good challenge as well. All right, so I got some space here for a solo play. It's all good. Should my teammate? He pops it across, but I'm not quite ready for the pass. Should my teammate back here. He needs to go immediately, though. Good touch. Oh, need him to challenge for me. Decent. Do we M off the backboard here? My teammate's pushing in the corner. I don't like that. It's a little scary. He pops it over his teammate. This could be good. Go, 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 go. Go for the ball. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what a weird game. That was so strange. Uh, definitely a few positions where my teammate was a little bit awkward. And definitely was not feeling confident in going for the ball. But even there, like he could have flipped towards the ball while getting the boost pad. But he just was pretty low and just waited for it. But we do get the, the, uh, the goal. He ended up leaving before even letting me answer him. But we do get uh, seven saves there. A little bit awkward. Like I said, a few positions where... The ball just kind of spilled into mid awkwardly. I would say that the opponents played really well. I definitely think they're probably SSL level from last season. Uh, they could be even Smurfs. I, I don't know. Like cause people, ple people do make a lot of accounts in GC and kind of sit there. Uh, but either way, pretty good game. Let's move on to the next one. Sweaty game to start it off. All right, game number two. We got Mario uh, and Scoodle Boot. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> we got Vade on our team. Here we go. This will be the game to get us into that last 100 MMR. Let's go. Ends up missing. Scoodle Boot ends up put, cutting into mid, which I like. I don't want to go to, for that immediate touch. See, it didn't barrel into the wall right there because it's going to spill out to mid for them. So I'm just going to wait for it to fall on the ground here. Scoodle will probably have this for free. Once again, I'm just going to keep pressure here. Make it really awkward for them. And go for it now. I'm just going to back off. Let my teammate get in there. Oh, that fake. I definitely think a challenger was totally fine. They didn't have control. And now I'm stuck in a 1v2. Oh boy! <laughs> like in that situation, you're already there. Just make the challenge. It's not good to fake there when they don't have control yet. He didn't have it on top of his car fully, and uh, he definitely could have just made a challenge. And Vade's looking at that, probably like, "Oh, why didn't he save it or something?" But yeah, he made that really awkward for me. That's what I'm talking about. Like a lot of players, they don't realize what they're doing to make things really awkward. I'm already in position to support him on that next touch. Decent pop towards Net. Mario's gonna have a touch off the backboard. Totally fine. I'll go for the shot now. Ooh, not quite. Nice finish, though. So, yeah, the backboard touch isn't the worst. I definitely should have scored the double, though. But my hands... I'm not going to make excuses here, but my hands are quite cold. It's technically an excuse, but it's all good, though. Go for a challenge here. Good touch, but it's not going to be scorable here. Vade doesn't get a demo, though, so I can sit across. Go for a block. Vade should be the first one to back here because they both committed here. I can get the mid boost. That mid isn't going to spawn for him. It's going to spawn in, like, one second. There it is. This guy misses. Go low on it. Shouldn't be shootable because they're still like sitting close to the ball. And I'll get in the way for him here. Once again, like I said, oh, I thought I got the mid boost. I guess not. I guess the mid, I did take the mid earlier, so. Could be a good chance. Good try. I'll be alone here for a second. Just seeing if he makes an immediate shot. Had to watch out for the bump. Like, I did get tapped a little bit, but I knew he was going to go for it. So I just went out wide on it. This ball is going to be spilling into a spot where I can go for free. Up the wall. Totally fine if he tries to challenge that. Go off the backboard and try to, uh, try to try to miss it here. Yeah. So try to fake out like the double tap by going close to it. And the reason why I don't want to go to the floor here is because uh, he's going to jump up if I go lower. So I'm just trying to bait him into a, a late jump. And he does that. And then we get a free touch off the backboard. At the double jump there. I can't flip because I'm not going to be high enough yet. Go for a 50. He's going to go across. Now, that ball is spilling in such a way that I probably can get this mid boost. They're going to cut it, though. My teammate goes off the ceiling. No problem. I like that double, that second touch from him. If he left that ball not to, not to touch, it would have been more difficult for me because he could have kept possession. But because he touches it again, I get a free touch uh, to the corner. Good try. So, oh, my gosh. They're dead. Good tap, tap it to you. No problem. See what happens here. Should be a, a shot opportunity. Nice bump. Mario's going to panic. He doesn't panic, actually. It's pretty good. I'm gonna go for a bump on me. Once again, I like the touch off the uh, off the car there because we get a free save. Obviously, it was still off the post, but oh, it's gonna be open dead. I think. Okay, they can't quite make it back again. Get this around this guy. I got 18 boost. I don't want to throw myself in too much because here, because I'm because here, 
Because in that situation, I'm I'm low boost. So if I just flip off the wall, I'm going to be zero boost after I flip into it. Get behind here. Wait for my teammate to get back. I don't mind him going to the wall there because that just removes the danger. Pop, pop it around here. I know Vade's pretty low, so I'm just going to let him try to challenge here. Oh, should be all right. I think Vade's still very low. Pop it up forward. Try to keep it close. Teammate's going for it. No problem. It's going to spill back into mid. You might actually take my mid boost. Play nice and slow. See what happens here. Get a control. He'll go now once I see that he doesn't have full control of the ball. This guy's going up, so all I just need to do is just beat him here. It'll be awkward. Maybe Vade can follow it. Nice finish. So Scootle definitely could have had a touch on that ball. He went underneath it, uh, but he has to realize that Vade can catch up to this ball once it hits the bounce. That ball bounced once, and that slowed the ball enough just for Vade to get a touch. In that situation, like he just needs to uh, touch the ball to the corner. He went really wide on it. I'm going to let this guy hit the ball for me, and then I can get the boost. Uh, they're backing off. I can pass this to the right. My teammate decided to go to the back right, right left corner, not the one I expected him to go for. Go for the double here off the back. It's not going to be great because my teammate's not close enough, and it's really dangerous. I'm going to sit here just in case. I talked about this at, like really early in the series. Being a uh, being an attacker that misses is basically the best way to defend those situations. Good save. Going to bounce off the corner back into mid. Just going to wait for the touch. There we go. Waiting in mid. Should be a touch again. Should be open. Great shot. Yeah, that's not a great recovery from them. You can definitely tell that the opponents in the first game were much, uh, much higher rank. Even though the MMR is the exact same. Actually, MMR isn't the same. It's actually a little bit lower of a lobby. I just realized they're all 1700. So that makes a little more sense. But still, I think that Alex and M in the first game were uh, much higher level. Uh, you can tell the quality of touches, the quality of positioning and stuff is much better. We got a player. We got Miho. <laughs> we got an old, old RLCS Pro. 1900. So he goes for it. Nice try. Maybe a little bit careful here. Going for the bump play. That's really good for them. Yeah, not much I can do there. Mio kind of just popped the ball right into the backboard there, and they get a free uh, 1v2 or 2v1. You never want to uh, pop the ball off the backboard like that in a situation where they can come in and just attack immediately. It's never going to be good. Like, same here. This ball's going to spill off the backboard. No problem. Just to make sure I'm always covering that angle. Mio should get this ball for free. Try to bump the guy that's coming towards him. Oh. They threw the ball away. I'm we'll do hit this off the wall really fast and then go for a follow up. It's gonna be towards the net. Op bomb should get this. Back in the mid. Good try. Pop this up. Should be connected to go for this, which is I don't mind at all because Mio gets a free ball. But also Mio just threw the ball back to them, so kind of throw away possession on both sides. Oh, close. Try to get the the shot close right. Decent challenge, but once again, a little bit dangerous. They do click it off the wall there. Decent challenge. Pop this over one. Again. Try to bump up bomb out. Should be Miho to come in at some point. He's a little bit passive there. Pop it up nice and high. It's going to be hard for Op bomb to get a good touch. He does get a touch, but Mio can probably turn. Okay, Mio probably could have turned on that, I think. But this should be still free for us. Good play. Over one. Go for it to get off the backboard. Uh, I really thought he was going to go for that. Kinetic was going to go for that touch. That's why I went for the immediate uh, save there or a shot. Hit the back uh, crossbar. I should have definitely scored that, though. It's going to be round, no problem. So Mio already knows that he's going for the boost. Trying to avoid it there. Good play. Mid. He goes for the solo. I would have preferred a mid pass there. He doesn't trust me. Because I'm, you know. I'm not who I am. I'm I'm uh, <laughs> RL cartographer. Good pop around. Once again, still solo playing. He could pass that. It's a free pass. They're on one. Should be a pinch across to the right side. Not saveable. There we go. I'm wondering if I should reveal. Hello, old friend.
It is I. <laughs> there we go. All right. Maybe he'll trust me for a pat. Let's see if the body language changes, because people do that all the time. They they uh, don't trust people and they play completely differently. Pop to the back uh, left there. The reason why I go to the back left is because it's gonna force a, a possible double commit. Good challenge to be just open here. Up bomb didn't have full control, so I just go for the uh, the early challenge. Well played. Kinetic, Kinetic believed in the uh, the carry down the field. Uh, road to SSL. It's both players. I'm trying to pop, pop this forward if I can. It's not the greatest touch because they're going to be both chasing him back. But they did overcommit, so they're going to be low. Great shot. I can already tell his confidence is definitely there. I, it's it's very common. Like I'm the same way. I, if I don't know somebody, I won't trust them. So it's not like I'm blaming Mio or anything. I totally understand it because trust me, players this rank are all over the place. If I go high on this, then go for the, their boost steal. Really good of Op Bomb to go for that boost steal uh, off of me when I'm trying to catch it there. Now, can I still might have this? I'm gonna wait for the back pass. A little bit heavy of a touch for me. Stay close here. Pop it around me. That's totally fine. Decent touch. This ba the boost won't be here, so I'll be careful of, of, of an ammo. With my low boost. To be honest, I'd rather be alive there than be dead with 34 when I spawn. And this is a bit awkward here because they're going to have a uh, spot on the ball here. Got bumped. It's good. Let's be Miho. Wait for his challenge. Good try. I'll wait for the mid pass here. It's very, very telegraphed play there. I, I don't think that's ever going to work at high SSL. When the ball spills across like that, people usually try to fake those passes. I go up for him here. Good touch. Bad touch from them. I'm gonna maybe pass across. He's getting demoed for his actions. Watch out for the bump here. Once again, very telegraph play. The way they make a really heavy touch uh, towards the uh, the ball there, and then oh, that's a good flick. Almost in. Very low. Because Samuel's taking all the boost. Totally fine. I got bumped though. So I'm just gonna stay back and try to get a few boost pads. I get the back corner now. They might make a play. I can finally move around the field freely. Tap this off the wall and then stay close. Mio does go for it, which is totally fine. I'm gonna get bumped here if I don't go for the ball right away. No, it might be in our net. Yeah, it's it's in our net. When I got bumped over to that ball, I needed to go for the immediately attack because if I don't, he's just gonna shoot it like that and I can't get back. So I try to jump for it. There we go. Decent attack. I'll go for this back corner immediately so uh, Op Bomb can't get any boost. Should be alright. Trying to avoid this guy off the wall here. Good try on the bump. Oh, we got him. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I was just sitting with the ball waiting for uh, a position to go for the attack or try to go outplay the guy. Because like a lot of people in that situation where they're getting chased, uh, they'll basically just like turn really really fast and do an aggressive challenge because it's the only way to really escape uh, but he didn't do that so I just waited for Mio to get the demo and then we get the free goal but pretty good game uh, interesting to reach uh, to reach 1920 because <laughs> obviously the other two players are like 18 something yeah 1840 and 1813 uh, uh, not quite SSL level but they're getting really close to it Mio obviously is SSL um, and we're getting really close to 1800 ourselves so pretty good so far definitely a good set of games pretty sweaty start and even a sweaty game here too, because Op Bomb is pretty good. I've never really seen Kinetic. Uh, decent player. Uh, either way, hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.